we're lucky or pleased to <laughs> have joining us Tala Ash from Legends of Tomorrow. Thank you for be being with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I'll, um, I'm going to jump right in. It. What can we expect for Zari next season? Um, very different, Zari. Uh, I can't say too, too much, but I can say that I think it's been revealed already that she's sort of this internet celebrity uh, version of herself, and she's lived a totally different life, so she hasn't experienced the loss of her parents and her brother and this sort of post-apocalyptic future. She's had a sort of uh, life of a celebrity in a way. Um, so that's been really fun and interesting to play. Um, yeah, and she's she's very different. I would say like her soul is the same, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, it's it, on the on the outside, it all looks very different. Well, speaking of which, uh, I don't know if you were aware of it, there's some behind the scenes photos that were leaked the other day of you and Jess. That, yeah, we were in a very public <laughs> place, so I guess <laughs> we should have expected it, but yeah. But yes, I mean, you know, Zari in an evening gown, mm -hmm. so, and y'all were- Yeah, we've never really seen that, yeah. Splashing around in a fountain. Yes. Uh, can you tease us anything about that episode? Um, the only thing I can say is, Zeva <laughs> is going to be a fun little friendship that we uh, develop in that episode, which oh, well, great. Jess and I are real life friends, so it's always nice when that kind of carries over into the story. Well, I know Katie is going to be directing this season. Yeah, and she's Ava's directing right now, actually. And yeah. Ava's lined up to direct yes. next season. Yeah. Or is that something you would be considering? You know what? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> it, it, uh, it's really interesting to me, and actually I'd really like to shadow um, one of our directors to sort of see the behind the scenes process I'm interested in producing but I don't think um, directing directing film is something that I'm at this point interested mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Now your performance in Here I Go Again mm. was met with critical acclaim yeah. and include including uh, you were named performer of the month for I spoiler know, TV. I love that yeah. <laughs> and all. So what did you take away from that episode? You know it, it was such a gift that they gave me um, I, at that point, my character and myself had not quite, you know, uh, fused with the team yet. And that, that episode was just such a gift and allowed me to go on this emotional journey that was mirrored in my real talent life, you know, becoming friends and becoming, you know, more integrated into the team. And it was just really fun to work on. It was genuinely challenging. And I loved working with the director, Ben Bray. Um, and we just went on this little journey together and it was challenging, you know, it was hard. It was a hard two weeks or whatever, but yeah, that's the kind of work I like to do. I would, and like, give me, give me that episode any day. And, mm -hmm. and it was, you know, fun to do research on, uh, Bill Murray and like try to find like some some pulls from Groundhog Day like it, I love that sort of stuff of creating many, some layers and how many times did you get hit in the face with the ink a lot uh, it, uh, Nick Zano and I got hit a, a lot more that was a hard day I remember seeing like the light just kind of go out of Nick's eyes who's usually a very positive person on set but he was done <laughs> at a certain point they were like reset and I was like really <laughs> um, but it was worth it. It's all worth it. <laughs> Good. Well, Legends is known for kind of being quirky and out of the box and things. I mean, you've done puppets and you've done Bollywood numbers and yeah. things like that. What what one of those stands out to you? Which one was your favorite? I do think like the single episode that I enjoyed was Here I Go Again. Um, I really enjoyed working on the Bollywood episode because it challenged me. I'm... I sing, but I'm sort of scared of singing in a musical theater -y way and dancing, and uh, so that was that was just a fun. And again, it, it pushed the journey of the character forward. And it we had gotten to this point where Zari had been protecting herself and protecting her heart for so long that in that episode, she it, it, it was very heartening for me to sort of see her open her heart. Mm -hmm. Have you filmed, or is there a, a scene that you filmed that you were especially proud of that ended up getting cut? That's a good question. A lot gets cut. I can't think of something sp uh, specific, but there's a lot of little things that we'll do, especially at the ends of scenes, little like jokes or something that we'll make, and they get cut because our episodes are really long, and you know it's a very packed uh, story. Mm -hmm. And Legends is a very physical show. Were you prepared for that physicality when you joined the cast? Um, not really. I mean, you just kind of 
you jump in where you can. I did a lot more stunts sort of my first season than I than I do now. It's and then uh, you know again the physicality for this season has been really different because I'm you know just as an example like I'm wearing high heels a lot which I never do and Zari never did and so just figuring out something simple like that how to do that and uh, you know you can prepare only so much. Mm -hmm. Now I did a little research and your your IMDb or your mm -hmm. info says you've done a lot of stage work. Do yeah. you prefer stage to television? Um, preference is a hard thing. I it's definitely where my roots are and it's and I have a great great love for doing theater. I miss it actually very much. Um, yeah, I sort of feel like I know what I'm doing more on stage than on TV to this day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just one final question. Mm -hmm. um, what is the most unusual thing about Tala Ash that your fans don't know? That's a good question. Unusual. Um, uh, good. There's so many sort of strange things about me. Maybe something that you're willing to share. Or would yeah, you well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate feet. <laughs> I really don't like feet. Like, the, whatever the opposite of a foot fetish is, that's what I have. I don't enjoy feet. <laughs> don't forget to click that subscribe button and the like button as well. And, of course, leave us a comment. And why not check out some of the latest TV promos and sneak peeks on our channel?